Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to share the samples that I pulled last week in the Sample Sunday series and then also we're going to pull some new samples. But first we're going to talk about the samples from last week. The first sample I have here is this one here. This is the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Sulfate Free Shampoo and the Your Storing Conditioner. So this set right here is really, really good. It does smell amazing. It doesn't smell like the Minoy line. The Minoy line, in my opinion, smells better. This one smells good though still, so it's not like it smells bad. But just the Manoi line, I feel like it smells so much more luxurious. This one smells very creamy, and you can definitely smell the almond in it. So if you're someone who likes the scent of almond, you're going to love this. This is a very good shampoo because it says it's sulfate-free. Typically, a sulfate-free shampoo doesn't really suds up. This one does suds up. So if you are looking for something that's still going to give you that suds, this definitely still provides that. The conditioner, the what the amount that's provided in this little foil packet actually is just enough for your hair to not be knotty or anything like that. I don't have super long hair and I don't have super thick hair, so my hair is a little bit more on the average side. So I feel like this, this set is amazing. So if you ever get this sample, I definitely recommend trying it. I do already own a lot of Carol's Daughter products and I feel like they're really, really good. So I can highly recommend anything from this line, honestly. I haven't tried anything from her line that I'm like, no, it's terrible. Everything that I've tried so far from her line has been spectacular. So I would purchase this. The next thing is this right here. This is the John Frieda Frizz Ease. This is the Secret Weapon Touch Up Cream. So this one is supposed to seal your hair and eliminate frizz and flyaways. This is really nice, but I was warned to only use a small amount of this because it's kind of heavy and it will weigh your hair down. And I have to agree, it is a little bit heavier than what typically I would use because I love like the Verb Ghost Oil. That one definitely helps to tame my hair and it's like so I don't have any flyaways or anything like that. And it just makes my hair look a lot more sleek. This is really good too, but it is a lot more luxurious, not luxurious, it's a lot more thicker. So it's going to definitely weigh your hair down. So if you are someone who is like me and you have very thin hair, make sure you just use a small amount of it and then rub it between your hands and then put it in your hair, distribute it through your hair. Otherwise, it's going to weigh your hair down too heavy and your hair is going to look almost like it has no life whatsoever. So it is a really good product, but just be careful how much you use. The next thing is this right here. This is the Kula, the makeup setting spray with green tea and aloe. It has broad spectrum SPF 30. This is really nice, but the one thing I've noticed about these setting sprays is that it definitely mattifies your skin. So if you're someone who's like me and you have dry skin, you have to be careful how much you're using of this because I feel like it kind of dries my, my makeup look out a little too much. So for me, I have to like spritz it and then almost go over it with another setting spray to make sure that it's not too dry looking because my skin is very, very dry. Even now with it being spring and everything like that, it's still very dry. So I do enjoy this because I feel like sometimes makeup products with SPF products in them, I've heard they're not the best SPFs. So this right here is great for just kind of like topping over top. If you're wearing makeup and you want to make sure that your skin's protected, I do recommend this. I think it's very nice, but I think like it may have some alcohol in here. I can't tell for sure because there's the ingredients list only tells you the active ingredients. It doesn't tell you the inactive ingredients on here for some reason. So, but I do think it contains alcohol because like I said, it really mattifies your skin and I can feel it too. There's a little bit of a burning sensation, especially in areas that I'm a little bit more sensitive. So... If you have dry skin, I would just make sure that you're careful with it. If you have oily skin, I think you're going to love this. So for me, I would purchase it, but I do have to be careful with it. The next thing is the Aquaphor. This is the Advanced Therapy Ointment Body Spray. It says it immediately soothes and relieves dry, rough skin. Easy to apply. I have to agree with everything it says right here. This is a very interesting type of product because typically when I use a spray product like this, it's a very fine mist and you put it on and you're like, okay, did I even put anything on my skin? This you can definitely tell you're putting on your skin. It's almost like a spray form of like Neosporin is what it feels like on my skin because it's very, it has a very thick feel to it. Do you know what the feel of Neosporin or Vaseline feels like? That's what it feels like when you're putting on your skin. It definitely is a lot thicker than a typical like lotion spray. So if you're looking for something and you have very, very dry skin like I do, you may love this, but just be careful because like I said, it is a little bit thicker. So you're going to have to rub it in quite a bit to make sure that it's absorbed into your skin well. But I did enjoy this, so I would purchase it, especially during the winter months when my skin is extra, extra dry. So this is really good. The next thing is a mascara. This is the Buxom, the Lash Mascara. I don't like the wand to this. The wand to this is a little wonky to me. So here's what the packaging looks like. Let me show you the wand. The wand is weird. It's like really big. I don't like these big plasticky wands. I like a more natural bristled wand. But for some reason, this one actually works for me. 
it doesn't have a smell to it, uh, but it does work. It definitely does give me some length. It gives me some volume, but I wouldn't say it's anything beyond what I typically like. So my typical ones that I really love are the Stila Extreme Huge. I love the It Cosmetics Superhero, and then I love the Julep Length Matters. Those are the three that I love, love, love. I feel like those three are like my holy grail. So this one will never hit holy grail status, but it is a good one. So I will continue to use this up, and once it's gone, I probably won't purchase it though. The next thing is this Dermalogica. This is the Daily Superfoliant. It's for Age Smart. Oh, guys, this stuff is terrible. It smells awful. Oh, I actually put this on and I almost gagged. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled those bugs. They smell like, honestly, they smell like pee. That's what this smells like. It smells like I'm putting urine on my skin. It's just nasty. I do not like this whatsoever. I immediately took it off my skin. I was like, there's no way I'm using this. I told you guys before that if a product smells really bad, then I'm not going to use it. Honestly, I'm just, that's just me. I don't like anything that smells horrible and this smells horrible. So I will never purchase this. I can't recommend this if you don't like things that smell or awful. Even if it's good for your skin, honestly, I just can't tolerate it. They could have made it somehow, some way that it didn't smell like urine. So no. The next thing is this right here. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Irish More Purifying Cleansing Gel. This is really, really good. I did notice I was having a couple acne issues. Of course, you know, it's, you know, shark week for me. And then of course, you know, if I use anything different that my skin doesn't like, I will have a couple breakouts here and there. This was really good at helping to kind of like take everything out that wasn't like, not everything. It was like taking some bad things out of my skin. So it was like purging a little bit. But this was very, very nice. It is a little bit drying, but I wouldn't say it's overly drying. So for me, I like the Irish More Mud Mask. I feel like that's not drying whatsoever. This is pretty much the same, but I feel like this is a little bit more drying and I'm not sure why this one's a little bit more drying, but it definitely did do a good job of cleansing my skin. I would consider purchasing the full size of this because of how clean my skin felt after using this. My skin was so clean, honestly, after using this that my nose and my cheeks were like shiny. Do you guys ever get your skin where it's that clean? Where everything is just so shiny, it's, it's super clean. And that's how it looked after I used this, so I do recommend this. If you are someone who needs to deep clean your skin, this is good. The next thing is this right here. This is the Sourcy, the Morning Calming Cream. This smells really nice. I love the way this smells. It smells really almost like, I just about suck it up my nose. It smells almost like candy a little bit, but not really. It's just got a very sweet scent to it. Do I have it on my lips? I have no makeup on today, guys, except for a BB cream. So I'm going makeup free a little bit, but this is really nice. And it's a calming cream. I'm not sure about calming aspects of it, but I do notice that when I wear this, then my skin just feels very soft and very almost like it's like absorbing some hydration that it needed. So I don't know how much moisturizer is actually like what the ingredients are in this, but I do notice that my skin feels extra moisturized when I use this in the morning. So I would purchase this. I'm not even sure where you can purchase this product from though. So I'll have to check it out, but it did really, really moisturize my skin and I felt like it was really nice. The next thing is this right here. This is the Chi, the Silk Infusion for hair and skin. Oh my gosh, guys, if you guys have ever smelled anything from the Chi line, it smells really good. It's got that typical salon sm smell to it. My hairstylist uses a lot of Chi products, and so when I was using this, it reminded me so much of going to the salon. I didn't know you could put this on your body, so when I was putting it on my body, it's a little bit weird, though, because typically with Chi, I only put it in my hair, so it was weird to smell Chi products on my skin. So I don't know for me if I would t really use it for my skin just because it was an odd smell for me on my skin. Not that it's a bad smell. It just reminded me of hair. So I would smell my skin and I'm like, I smell like hair products. So I don't know. But for my hair, I feel like this was a great one. It definitely has like almost like a silicone feel to it. So it will smooth your hair out if you have any kind of flyaways or anything going on. It didn't weigh my hair down too much. Now I will say the Verb Ghost Oil does a better job if you're looking for something that's not going to weigh your hair down whatsoever. But this is an excellent alternative. So if you find this on sale or something like that, I do recommend it. Now I have two perfumes. So the first perfume is the Bagari, the Jasmine Noir. I don't like this one. It's a little too heavy for me. I don't like really heavy fragranced perfumes. I feel like I keep spitting on myself today. I don't like really heavy, heavy fragrance perfumes because I, they give me a headache. Honestly, that's just it. If they are really heavily fragranced, I tend to get a headache. I don't really love the scent of Jasmine in the first place. I think it's good, but it's not my favorite. So this for me was a no. The next one, this is the Marchesa. This is the Parfum Dextise. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm sure I just butchered that completely. 
but this one smells very very good it's a very light fragrance it's almost like a spring light scent to me it smells very floral very i don't know like you guys ever take a walk into like the spring and then like you smell like the trees and everything like that that's what it feels like you're taking a walk into a spring day where the wind's blowing and it's just very sweetly fragranced by all the flowers and everything that's what it reminds me of so i do like this and i would definitely consider purchasing a full size so that is everything from last week for the sample so now we're going to go ahead and pull our new samples we're going to start with skincare because the basket is so full we always pull three from this one so the first product i'm pulling is let's see what do we got here we have the philosophy the eye powerful treatment fill and firm Ooh, that sounds awesome who doesn't want to fill and firm your eyes i know i do i definitely need that you guys can tell with my pretty much no makeup one today my skin is not the best so there's just a little sample of that so i'm excited to try it out and see how good it is hopefully it'll be really good i don't know i know a lot of philosophy products were a lot of people were saying that they don't have the best ingredients in them but honestly, if they work still for you, though, it's like <laughs> darned if you do, darned if you don't have a thing. Because sometimes it's it'll just work. Some things just work from philosophy. So I'm going to try it and see how good it does. Let's go and get our next sample. So the next one is, ooh, what do we have here? We have an Estee Lauder Nightwear, the three-minute detox mask. Ooh, a mask for three minutes. I've never seen put it I've never seen a mask that you only put on for three minutes so here's what the little sample looks like that looks like a one-time use maybe I'll do the sample with you guys that were there you can see it in in use or whatever uh yeah so three minutes is all you leave it on that's interesting I've never seen a mask for that short of time frame usually they're like 15 to 20 minutes the next one is the fresh the soy face cleanser I've already tried this before so I'm going to go ahead and put this aside for another giveaway sample so I'll stick that aside that is a really good cleanser I like the soy cleansers but if you're someone who doesn't like soy cleansers you may not enjoy that that's probably something you probably already knew though right that's not something I had to tell you okay so the next thing is this right here by benefit this is the benefit it's oh so we have another eye serum so it's the benefit eye potent the brightening eye cream to fade dark circles is it even really possible to fade dark circles? I've heard people say that you can't fade dark circles. So <laughs> I don't think that, I think mostly dark circles are like hereditary or their lack of sleep. I don't think it's something that you can really fade. I think you can like brighten your under eyes by putting something on it that's going to brighten it. But I don't think it's really going to fade it. So we'll have to try it out. That's a really cute little sample though. Here's what the sample looks like. I feel like I've tried this before for some reason. So either way, we'll try it out again. We have two eye creams for this week. Now we're going to go on to the body care samples. Here's the body care basket. I'm going to pull two out of here. So the first one is, this is the Cow Shed, the Wild Cow Invigorating Bath and Shower Gel. This has essential oils of lemongrass, ginger, and rosemary. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, it smells really good. It smells very invigorating. It definitely smells invigorating. Is that what it said? Yes, it definitely does smell invigorating. It has like one of those smells that just makes you feel like you are open your senses are open the next body care sample is ooh, something big guys we have the rituals the yogi flow this is the indian rose and sweet almond oil this is one that i recently got in one of my little samples from ulta i love ulta samples that they have those big goodie bags they're the best now we're going to move on to makeup samples so i have the makeup basket here i'm going to pull two out of here so the first one is what do we have we have the cover effects natural finish foundation i hate these type of samples look how small these are like are you really going to be able to tell how good this foundation is from that i'm not real sure probably not it doesn't feel like enough samples on enough product on there to try it out the next one is bare minerals so we have a bare minerals product what is this this is the bare minerals uh, mineral veil hmm so here's what it looks like the little container so this is definitely a great sample size so i wish all companies would do that give you enough so that you can actually really try it out because this for cover effects is kind of pitiful that's not a very good sample in my opinion so i'm going to slip this basket over here now we're going to move on to hair care samples this basket is still pretty much overflowing hopefully we can get it down some so the first sample is Ooh, this is the A to B technology, anti-aging balancing, anti-aging for your hair. This is a conditioner. So if there is a shampoo included into this basket here, I'll pull that to go along with it because I feel like it's always a good idea to try both products together. 
So I've never heard of this company though. This is Julian Farrell. Never heard of them. The next thing is, oh, what do we have here? Okay, let's see what this is. This is the Alterna Caviar Instant Recovery Shampoo and Instant Recovery Conditioner. Didn't we just try this recently? I feel like this is a sample that I've recently tried. Maybe it was a different one for damage-free hair. Mm, I don't know. I feel like this is a sample we've tried recently. If it is, I'll try to figure it out. If it is, then I'll pull a different sample, but if not, then we'll try it. Now we're moving on to perfume samples. The first perfume sample is we have Jimmy Choo Le Ou. Le Ou. This one sounds familiar too. I'm trying to smell it. You guys see my shirt I'm wearing? It's my. Nobody said it was easy. <laughs> my mascara shirt. I love this one. It's got the mascara ones because you guys know I'm so awesome at mascara. That doesn't smell familiar to me, so maybe I haven't tried that. The next one is Hermes. This is the Twilly. Hermes. Ooh, I know I haven't tried that one before because that name does not sound familiar whatsoever. So I'm going to spray a little bit of this on my hand here. Spray one on my shirt, one on my hand. So the top notes are pretty strong. I'm going to dab it together a little bit. Oh my gosh, it smells so good so far. So, so far that one's pretty amazing. So that is all the samples for this week that I will be playing with. So now I need to go ahead and tell you guys the winner from last week. If I could find my phone. I don't even know what I did with, oh, here it is. It's right in front of me. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. So the winner from last week is the bag actually here. The bag itself looks like this. It's an Ulta bag and it's got lots of goodies in here. There are some things from Too Faced and things from Josie Moran. There's all kinds of goodies in here. So the winner for this bag is Tony Thorson. Tony, if you could email me and let me know your mailing address, then I will mail out your goodie bag for you. This is your goodie bag. So that is for you this week. Now I do have a new goodie bag to get to you guys. So the new one looks like this. It's a really cute little pink bag. Perfect for Mother's Day coming up. So let's tell you all the goodies inside of here. So the first thing is a Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume sample. I'm going to slide that thing back so I can sit these here. Then we have a Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation sample set. Then we have, there's lots of goodies in here guys. Then we have the Benefit Professional sample. Then we have the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Cleansing Mask, Conditioning Mask, I'm sorry. Then we have the uh, Hask Hawaiian Sea Salt with Coconut Oil, Pearl Extract, and Blue Sea Kale Shampoo and Conditioner Set. Then we have, we have some bigger products in here. We have the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. We have the, oh, you don't need that twice. I'll throw something else in there. There was two Urban Decay Perversion mascaras in there for some reason. Then we have a Deep Euphoria by Calvin Klein perfume. This is actually a really decent size too. So if you win this and this is your perfume that you like, then there's a really cute sample size of that. It's like a really nice deluxe size. This is a half an ounce. So it's a half an ounce of perfume. So that's a really good size of perfume in my opinion. Then we have a NARS. This is a NARS Orgasm Blush. So here's what it looks like. This is a really cute sample I want to show you. I know I shouldn't probably open this, but I'm not going to touch it. I just want to show it to you what it looks like. This is a really cute sample size. Look how cute this is. There's the NARS packaging. And then there's the NARS little blush in there. So that's a nice, decent size as well. So you're getting some really good sizes this week in the samples for giveaway. Then the next thing, there's three or four more things in here. Then we have an It Cosmetics, the airbrush. This is a little travel brush right here. So there's what it looks like. Then we have a Too Faced. This is the Shadow Insurance Primer. Then we have a Philosophy, the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose Perfume. Then we have, oh, we have two Ballet Roses. So you have two perfumes that are same, but that's okay with perfumes if you have the same. And that is everything in the goodie bag for this week. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is to let me know what your favorite sample was from recently that you've tried did you try any samples recently if you haven't tried any samples let me know what your favorite product is that you're working with right now i'd love to hear other than that that's all you have to do to enter the giveaway just leaving me a comment below that gets you entered thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you guys later <music>